birthday, Cousin Brenda. So I'm showing you just a little bit of Portland at Christmas. Um, I'm in Pioneer Courthouse Square. The tree's behind me. Really where we gather and have concerts and what have you. But now you can see Pioneer Courthouse Square. We have a bunch of circles that let us know where we can stand to safely socially distance. Here's our tree. It's a bit more sedate than usual. The lights are definitely not what they usually are. So you can see that there's plywood on the windows. Um, certain far right news broadcasts are gonna tell you that it's because of the uh, protests that we had that the plywood went up. No, they went up when we went into quarantine. But um, as you can see, Pretty mellow and sedate here in Portland. Well, looky here. I had no idea she was here to greet us. What I will show you is the plywood that we've turned into artwork because we're Portland. Um, yeah, just looks kind of nice. And what I'm doing is I'm working my way up to Powell's. We are about five blocks away from Powell's, but I'm showing you Finnegan's. Finnegan's is the last good toy store. I think you'd get a kick out of seeing it uh, whenever you come. Oh, boxes. But it's just a lot of really classic toys of which I am not gonna go inside to show you. No. You're seeing these signs to encourage people to shop local and shop small to keep things afloat. And downtown has these really cute uh, holiday decorations painted by people of color um, that you're just supposed to go around and see if you can find them. So found one and you know, just a lot of really cool toys that I wanna get Henry. Ooh, that is the coolest slinky ever. Okay, I found another one. Oh, this is a lot of fun. Or maybe not. Okay, we're getting close to the magic. So when you come, we are gonna ride the streetcar to Powell's. And you can see the tracks right in front of us, but that's not exciting. What's exciting is Powell's down at the end of the block. So I'm standing outside Powell's like a lonely waif, uh, but I'm not going in. Um, but you can see that we're at the entrance so people are waiting to go in where I guess they're going in. Um, but what we're looking at is the green room, which is the main entrance. And oh my gosh, it's so dead. Usually there should be at least 300% more people in there. Good that it's not, but it's just weird seeing it's so empty. Um, as a frame of reference, we would go down this street and walk about 15 blocks. I won't make you walk, but Voodoo Donuts is like 15 blocks in the direction where my camera's point. Okay, I took it back. This is the line. Um, I'm gonna just scoot us around the perimeter. Um, yikes. Um, glad I'm ordering online. Uh, and to be honest, this is closer to the type of crowds that we would see on Sunday. Um, but we are still on the perimeter of the green room. I need to watch where I'm going. And I'm walking us down to the pink room. Ah, I found another cardboard cutout at Powell's. Okay, you really can't see the difference, but we are on the perimeter of the pink room. And I had high hopes of like peering through a glass to have you see the kids books, but um, I can't. But you can see how cute the Pearl District is. Um, stuff that is like way too expensive to buy, but really kind of cute to look at. Um, okay, we're getting close. Uh, okay, it looks like I can't show you the pink room. Bummer, but look at this car. Yeah. Okay, we are looking at the boring room. So the pink room is that way and just for the sake of being able to show you the inside of Powell's, the um, orange room is just going to have to do. Uh, this is where the music and what have you is. Um, ladders to reach the top of the bookshelves. And I'm kind of glad I can at least show you some. And 
it is never this dead, okay? The only time when it is this dead is like right at opening on a Sunday, and even then, there's more people. I just, um, I've never seen Powell's this empty, never. But you can see, like, here's all the book carts for pickup. Um, this probably doesn't mean anything, but it's just, holy shit, we are in the middle of a pandemic. Okay, last segment that I'm just showing you so I can weep on your shoulder. Um, we're looking inside the cafe, and again, utterly bizarre that it's this close. Just this, not closed, but it's, well, it is closed. Um, but it's just that it's this quiet here. And so, you know, you can get your sci-fi your sci books, uh, your romance in this section. Um, usually these record stands absolute or record no the calendars whoops are not here it's usually just pack of tables uh, you know okay it's hard seeing it look like this but in my uh, Sunday morning meeting today people were giving the slogan of resume in June and um, you know six more months at the least uh, but Resume in June. Okay, I have one more thing to show you. We are at McMinimins at the entrance to Vaseline Alley. So, um, Harvey Milk Street. Holy shit. Sorry, maskless people just running at me. So, uh, the entrance of Vaseline Alley uh, and McMinimins, which is uh, the original gay district. Uh, and it's basically two blocks. Um, but you can see outdoor dining. Uh, yeah, there's rain everywhere, but uh, we don't let it stop us.